Uh, good morning, everybody. Is that time of the day, Saturday morning? Uh, myself, the Sobri Boys, Walifatsi, together with uh, Last Born. Um, unfortunately, today we don't have Ntwentle on the show. Um, I'm sure he's going to join us uh, probably on Tuesday morning. Um, I'm sure you guys are enjoying the information that we are giving. And I must say, I'm very, very much pleased because I can see that the number is increasing. And then I can see even we get so much comments. Especially we have a, what you call the Big R Solution Sports Program community uh, members. So we have a WhatsApp group there. The, the discussions there, they are very nice. You have a person like Tebuchol Lebejo, all the way from the Free State in, in Bethlehem. Walter and then uh, uh, Jakey and then uh, Fraser. It's so exciting, you know. Uh, they really comment. And then, um, yeah, and, and, and who else? Uh, Tsepang too comes and comment. Uh, Tsepang remind me who are the other people who are contributing there. Because it's very active that uh, uh, community mm. club. Um, um, Tebocho is commenting a lot, uh, Tsepang too, and who else? Uh, Fraser, I've already mentioned Fraser. Walter, uh, Walter is also one of the people who comments. Uh, and, and, and Captain Matonia, uh, one of the people who really comments, George Taku. <clears throat> George Taku is a Pakanea man. Uh, Fraser, you're not alone, you're not alone. You've got so many people there uh, within your your midst. Uh, those are the people who keep us going, giving us a whole lot of comments. Uh, last born, welcome to the show. Yes, uh, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Shavalala, and to the viewers out there. Um, and yes, to our community, uh, 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 community members within the Big R uh, Solution Sports Sports Program. I greet you all. And yeah, thanks, thanks for having, thanks for having me this morning. Uh, we've got a lot of news to unpack. There's so many news lately, so we're trying to just, you know, uh, try to feed you as much information as we can. And yeah, we hope that you enjoy the show also. And yeah, we really gonna have a great one. Yeah, let's move faster. But the topic of the day today, the big one, Mamelodi Sundowns versus Orlando Pirates. What's your take? Do you think that Mamelodi Sundowns, they'll continue the slump? Or do you see Mamelodi Sundowns rising at the expense of Orlando Pirates? Or the other way around? Uh, are we going to see Pirates rising at the expense of Mamelodi Sundowns so that Mamelodi Sundowns continue the, the slump? It's very, very tight. Uh, guess what? Benny McCarthy is knocking on the door. It looks like Ben is in the aging area. Uh, you, you'll be surprised. Benny may take this league. Uh, don't write him off yet. He's very consistent. It shows that Benny is a good coach. Remember what he did with uh, Cape Town uh, City or Cape Town, yeah, Cape Town City. And then now he has proved them wrong. He beat them very hard to show that uh, you made a mistake by letting me go. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice football. It's a crunch time. Sepang, let's move faster. Give us the news. What's happening? But you people out there, please continue. Who's going to win between Orlando Pirates and Mamelodi Sundowns? And then uh, what's your take? Do you think that Sundowns will take it or Pirates will rise? Last one. Okay. Yes, Mr. Shavalala. Um, just to give our viewers the results, uh, all, all results that happened during the course of the week. Um, we had a game of Kaiser Chiefs versus Chippa United. Kaiser Chiefs lost that game by one goal to zero. Um, TTM played against TTM played against Bloemfontein Celtic. TTM won that game by one goal to zero. So TTM is really coming up. It's really coming up. And then we had Baroka versus TS Galaxy. TS Galaxy won that game by one goal to zero. And we had Cape Town City versus Amazulu. That was a very big game. Well. A very beautiful and interesting match. You know, Amazulu won that game by five goals to one. 
And then also we had Mamelodi Sundowns versus Golden Arrows. And then the game was a nil-nil draw. And then we had also Marisbeck United versus Morocco Salos. So Morocco Salos now have registered 15 draws in the league. That game ended up in a one old draw. And then coming up this weekend, our fixtures, we've got the KZN Derby, Golden Arrows versus Amazulu. And then we have Bloom Celtic versus Kaiser Chiefs. We have TS Galaxy versus Cape Town City. We have Chipa United versus Stellenbosch. We have TTM versus Black Leopards. We have uh, Super Sport United versus Barocca. And on Sunday, it's a big game. We call it a Super Sunday. We've got Orlando Pirates versus Mamilodi Sundowns. So yes, these are our fixtures. These are our results and fixtures in the DSTV Premiership. Mm. While you're still there, you have given us a picture of Golden Arrows and Amazon. Uh, what's your take about this? It looks like uh, this is the game that may decide whether Benny is going to take the league or not. Uh, don't rule out Benny. Benny may surprise everybody. Mm. Uh, if he wins this one, I can tell you, he's rest assured that he's on the road to win the league. Because mm. Manu Mileoni Sound if they sleep, one or two games, especially two games, um, they're in trouble. They're in big, big, big trouble. So this game may really decide because the two teams are playing very well. So what's your take, last one? And after that, I want us to talk about TTM after the problems that they experience and also about TS Galaxy. Okay. No, um, you know, Mr. Chavala, um, yeah, this is a big game, um, you know. These two KZN teams, it's good to see that, you know, we've got other teams that are also competing in the league and knocking in the league. And there's one thing that um, Coach Mangoba uh, was saying on Wednesday that, you know, um, Golden Arrows are very, very, um, um, I could say, united team. You know, he was crying about how fit they are, you know, how much energy they have, they possess, and they really gave them a hard time, you know. So Golden Arrows is, is on the right track. They did good. They did well this season. You know, at least it's it, it was great for us seeing new competition during the course of the league. Not only seeing the similar faces each and every time. So it's great seeing that uh, these KZN teams are out there. You know, they're actually giving uh, these big teams uh, a headache. And for instance, also Amazulu. On another hand, you know, Amazulu are really doing good under new management, it shows that, you know, when you believe in a coach, when you let the coach do what he has to do, let him, let him do the job without interfering, these are the kind of results that you get. And, you know, for the coach to actually believe in players also, the likes of Majoro, Majoro is actually doing good. You know, Majoro is banging goals at the age that he's in, 34, is, 34 years of age, but he's banging goals like nobody's business, you know. So, um, you know, overall, I can say just to conclude within these two teams, I, I, I'm really happy seeing what they're doing and they really are on the right track. You know, it's, it's, it's just a wake up call for our big teams in the DSTV Premiership to start, you know, uh, uh, rising up, start getting that wake up call, you know, because these small teams are actually coming back and we can't consider them small teams. So, yeah, they, they're really doing good. The other thing that I want us to talk about is the issue of TTM. Remember, TTM had problems. And then yes. I watched one of their games. They, they, they are playing a very good football. And they are fit. Uh, it, tell, it shows that uh, if, if a team, you know, they get stability, especially uh, on the issue of leadership, and then uh, that, that will show itself in the field of play. So TTM are, are doing well. Yes, they still have to fight to get out of the relegation because take note of the fact that uh, they've just changed hands in terms of uh, ownership. And then uh, one was expecting that they would struggle uh, having just received new ownership. But it looks as if they are on, 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 on road to, to, to secure their, their position in the league. That, that's my take. And also TS Galaxy. You know what? I need to say, uh, take my hands off to the owner. You know, that guy is a very colorful guy. Uh, and the Bele guy who's proud of his culture. 
a lawyer by profession, a guy who's not shy, you know, to, to, to say, this is my ambition. I know at some point, he says, at some point, he was to be the leader of the PSL. Um, remember, this guy was just a, a manager of players, all right? Now, from being a manager of players, from being a player himself, a manager of players, and then uh, finally becoming the owner of the team. And for me, that, that, that's really, really great. Who can forget what they did during the cup final by bringing all the legion of Mbumalang, you know, proud of their regalia. So this guy, I say heads off to him. I don't know, Tsepan, what do you want to say about these two teams, TTM and TS Galaxy? No, um, uh, you know, the, the, there isn't much I can say about TS Galaxy because we all know um, where it's from, you know, um, and and what and and in and, and which state it was taken out of. But it's just under new management, you know. Um, I think the God they just started the league in a bad note, you know, mm. due to a lot of things, even management issues, technical issues. But they've managed to regain. Uh, um, themselves and they, they they are actually trying to push you know they but they're on the right track they they starting to get the momentum back so they 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 they're not doing really bad but I'm just glad that they're not where they used to be before but with TTM I'm very happy about TTM you know TTM is more of like a team that is you know in in this football uh, uh, um, um industry would you normally use this word as in like um, uh, football rejects, you could say, mm. not not in a bad way, you know, players. Mm. But we could say the players are like the the football rejects, you know, in the PSL, you know, mm. in the DSTV Premiership, you know, it has those players, you know, uh, players that used to play for big teams, but now, yes, when age catched up with them, they automatically fell on to these small teams, you know. So it, it has those players, but you know, um, the way they started off everyone was just like, what's going on? It's like, mm -hmm. are just, if you just want to play football, you just go to that team, you know? It's mm -hmm. like a team of rejects. Let me just mm -hmm. put it that way, mm -hmm. you know? And things were not uh, combining. Things were not going, you know? Not even going along, you know? Players also not getting along. The coaches, everything. But now, since they're under new management, you know, things have changed, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we, we don't consider them uh, as they were before. But now we talk, we talk about them differently, you know. They are doing good in the league. They are starting to build. They are coming back up, and at a very crucial time when the league is starting to end, you know, with the less games that are left, but they are starting to regain that form, and which is a really good thing, you know. They're not struggling, and they've managed to pick themselves up and managed to get in the net bank uh, uh, um, final. So, yeah, they're really on the right track, and I'm really happy for them to be honest, you know. So, I, I still want to see CTM honestly in the DSTV Premiership next season so that they can prove themselves, you know. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy about them at the moment. I want to say big up to the coach of that team because can you imagine a, a person motivating those players? Like you said, people have written some of them off and then uh, while they went, then there was a looming strike because they were not paid and then the ownership was going to change. You know, to motivate players from those conditions to play the, the way they play in terms of football, uh, I think the guy has done a lot. Done a lot. So the coach needs also to be commended. But let's move on. Mamelodi Sundowns, Orlando Pirates. Uh, what's your take? Your analysis. Uh, who do you think will definitely come victorious? Let us not forget that uh, Sundowns has just not long ago giving Orlando Pirates for the best. So I think that is still fresh in the Pirates players. They want a, a revenge. So what's your take? What's your take? Uh, Sundowns is winning this game, Mr. Shavala. Mm. For me, it's a straight win. I think they, they, they're in the right state of mind now. I think they're back. You know, Sundowns just needs one or two days just to regroup after maybe a mess that they've just created or, you know, just a few mistakes that they might have just created, but they just need a one, just a day or two days 
Mm. Personally, this is, how, this is how I view them each and every time because this is how they normally come back. Mm. They're not a team that lasts for long without getting results, you know. Mm. They, 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 they're a team that, that is able to regroup, you know, and find themselves so quick and then they pound again. They get back. So, yeah, I'm seeing a straight win from, from Mamelodi Sundowns. But it would be good seeing a lot of goals in the game, to be honest. I, I wish for an entertaining game. Honestly, Paris needs... I also want Paris to give us a game, you know, as much as we expect, we know that Sundowns is going to give us something, but mm. I expect Paris to also be consistent on the day. It would be good if they win also. Um, I shouldn't write them off, but personally, I, 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 I stand with Mamelodi Sundowns on Sunday. They are going away with the three points. Yes. I have a different view. I think Mamelodi Sundowns are going to continue to struggle. Moreover, if you look at the fact that the coaches, are not willing to change their personnel. And I strongly believe that the majority of those players are tired. Um, if they were bringing new players who are hungry, probably we were going to talk something different. Uh, but again, when you bring new players who, who have not been playing for a very long time, that might also be a problem on its own. Um, I'm saying, uh, and parents this time, they want to revenge. Um, so I'm saying a Pirates may rise at the expense of Mamluri Sundowns. Uh, if they continue the way they do Mamluri Sundowns with their selection of the squad, I can tell you Pirates may rise. It may rise. It might not be 4-1, just like Sundowns did to them. Uh, Pirates may beat them 1 or 2 nil. Watch the space. That's, that's my view. That's my view. But um, I'm sure we can move on. Uh, and then ask uh, the viewers out there, what's your take? Do you think that Mamelodi Sundowns is going to win or it's going to be Orlando Pirates who's going to uh, do well? And then, um, so let's hear, uh, last one, the international football. So people give us comments and then uh, on our, on our uh, uh, comment spot, comment and then all those who still comment on the community please continue to do so and please let's subscribe let's recruit more people uh Tepang, let's go international are you going to yes. start with what italian or english we'll start or are, with english. are you going to give the results first of the champions league yes, yes so give out the champions league results but firstly i just wanted to you know Congratulate um, Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, and Mama uh -huh. Melody Sundowns. That's a big one. The... That's a big one. Yes, Maybe yes, we need yes, to talk yes. about that one quickly before we go international. Yeah. Yes, Tell us yes, what's yes. happening. Um, yes. Yeah, but it's a big one, you know. Um, Mama Melody Sundowns have been drawn with Al Ahri. <laughs> uh, that's a nice one. It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be yeah, very interesting. Yeah, in the Kiev quarterfinals. So they're playing on Friday on the 14th of May. <laughs> yeah. But I heard, I heard one former former player of Al Ahli was hoping that they don't draw Mamelodi Sundowns. He, he was yeah. saying, uh, I don't think we'll beat this team. I don't know. Uh, Pito knows the players very well. And then uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Whether Mamelodi Sundowns will beat them or it's going to be the other way around. Pito is doing very well in Egypt. So mm. it's going to be very, very interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Remember, Pito is a coach who demands much, who demands mm. a lot. Remember, it can be nice for him to beat uh, Mamlodi Sandal. But at the same time, I thought, I, I'm sure the three musketeers, uh, Shadrach, Abednego, and, 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 who, uh, and Mishak. And they, Mishak. Yeah, they want to prove a point. They want to show that, uh, yes, you're with us, but uh, we have come of age. We'll beat you. It's going to be very interesting. We're going to see what's going to happen. So who do you think is going to win this game? According ah, to it's tough. I yeah. don't want to lie. Um, I, I don't want to predict it even. Yeah. Um, I just want to enjoy the match, honestly. Because I know that it's going to be a very entertaining match. I just yeah. want to enjoy the match personally. Um, yeah, both teams I know will be goals mm. between those two legs. Yeah. yeah. So I just yeah. want to enjoy the match. Yeah. Okay. Honestly. Yes, yes. But our heart is with South Africans. It'd be yeah, nice our to heart see, is with... it'd be nice <laughs> to see even... sundowns 
Pirates, Chiefs <laughs> continue to the next round. That would be very nice. And win for that but, matter but, if it comes to push. But even one of our own is a coach that side in Africa. So no, he's, he's well, also in South Africa. Yeah, we, we, we support him as, a, as our coach. But yeah, we want our teams to fly high. <laughs> we want our teams to fly high. You know, um, yes, all yes. our cozy uh, <laughs> up the box, yeah, all, yes. all our teams who are playing in Africa, we want them to win. <laughs> yes, so also, Kaiser Chiefs is playing against Simba on the yeah. on the sixth day yeah. on the 14th yeah. of May, yeah. and then Orlando Pirates is playing on the 16th of May. So, yeah. they it's the quarter final game, also. So, good luck to all, all of our three teams, and yeah, we're behind everyone. So, taking you to the um, uh, UEFA Champions League game. So, at a UEFA Champions League game this week, yeah. it was a very, very, very interesting ties, very interesting ties that we had. Mm -hmm. Um, yes, so Real Madrid was playing against Chelsea on Tuesday, mm -hmm. and then uh, the game was a one all draw. Chelsea has an away uh, goal difference, so they are playing home on Wednesday with uh, Real Madrid, the second leg. Let and me then tell, let me tell you something before you go any further. Sorry to cut you short. I no saw a new Chelsea. Chelsea mm. is hot. Chelsea is hot. Let me talk about Ngol, uh, Ngolo Kante. That man is one of the best midfielders today. He's the best number six in the whole world today. You know, mm. Carlo Ngate, uh, uh, Carlo Ngate reminds me of a, a former. A French player called Jean Tinga. The stature mm. of the body, the same. And then the, the way he plays, just like the same. And then here at home, uh, he reminds me of um, Chip, uh, Chipa Mulateri. Um, I don't know whether you have seen him, Chipa Mulateri. And then um, and, and also Ace Kuse. Uh, and who else? Ace Kuse, Chipa Mulateri, and, and Aubrey the Great Mahopela. Uh, he reminds me of those players. Um, uh, although Aubrey the Great was a dribbler. Uh, Kante is not a dribbler, but he's a very good distributor of football. He's the best. He's a far ahead of uh, your Sergio Busquet, your Modric. He's, he's ahead. He's doing well. And then looking at his stature, you may take him very light and say, this guy. And he says his heart is with uh, Chelsea. He doesn't want to leave. I know that Barcelona at some point. They were knocking at, at his door. I can tell you, had they bought him, you know, Barcelona was going to be unstoppable. Chelsea is doing well. I'm telling you, next year, you are going to see a very different Chelsea. What does that mean? Does this mean that the coach who's coaching Chelsea now is a very good coach? Because he did the same with uh, PSG, remember? Although he didn't win the Champions League. So what's mm -hmm. your take? What's your take? Yeah, um... um... Thomas Tuchel is doing a great job, honestly. Um, I also see Chelsea going through to the finals. I, 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 I personally don't see Real Madrid, you know, winning the tie. But I, I, I feel like Chelsea has much, so much hunger within them personally, and the coach has brought so much within the players, and you know, he, he, he has awakened that team. So there's a lot of team spirit going on. There's a lot of team spirit going on in the Chelsea camp, and. Mm. They're in the right stage at the moment, and yeah, um, I, I, there's something that he brought within that team, and it's actually working at the moment. So, yeah, I, I, at the end, they've got a good squad. I mean, Ngalo Kant is just out of this world. Personally, I don't care what people say, but for me, he's the best holding midfielder right now in the whole world. Personally, you know, um, for for holding midfielder, but to play box to box also. No one has, no one is currently doing that at the moment. We haven't seen such, I don't know, in how many seasons, personally. You know, the energy that he has, it's just incredible. It's just out of this world. There's no midfielder that has that same energy that he has at the moment. And, you know, such players, personally, you know, if they're not even considered in the world 11, I, I, it's, I, it's, it just raises eyebrows, to be honest, that, you know, um, 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 what are we actually looking at at the moment and which type of football are we looking at? If we can actually count and, you know, take out stats at the moment, how many yards he has covered, how many grounds he has covered, how many spaces he has covered, 
he probably leads the pack. He's probably at the top because mm. no one is doing so much work than him at the moment. So Ngalo Kante personally is an exceptional player, and yeah, we, we should give uh props where it's true, honestly. So he's doing a great job and he's really assisting Chelsea. And well done to the coach too for believing in him because he wasn't even really getting much of a game time when Frank Lampard was in charge. He wasn't he, he wasn't even a regular player anymore, you know. He'd be just a chop and change kind of player, but now he's back, you know. So I don't know what was the problem, but yeah, he is a coach that sees, you know, no, this is the type of player that can lead us up front. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy about that. I can shock you that uh, uh, I I foresee an English Cup final of the Champions League, Chelsea versus Man City, and then uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Real Madrid is not convincing. Real Madrid, they have only, I think, two, three players. Uh, it's Benzema and then um, is um, this a Brazilian guy who's playing the middle field. Um, um, Casamero. Casamero is him. And, and also who? Um, you know, it's one or two, three players that, uh, you know, they, they, they are effective there. Um, Madrid, it's finished with Madrid. Eden Hazard, you know, if, if I was in Madrid, I would think of selling him next year and then, uh, you know, save, save us if I was in Madrid, save us money and the stress, I would sell him and, and, and get new players. So Chelsea for me and, and Man City. And then while we are still talking about Man City, the game between uh, PS, PSG and uh, Man City, it was excellent, excellent. Man City was all over the show. They could have won by more goals. Eh? And then, but at the same time, I want to qualify it and say, Neymar is a brilliant player. You know, when, people, when people continue to compare Neymar with people like uh, uh, Vinicius, uh, Brian Hill from uh, Spain. No, man. You know, they, they are undermining Neymar. Neymar is far ahead. He's even far ahead of uh, uh, Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe, it's only speed. You know, if you hit Kylian Mbappe with an uh, uh, offside trap or you become the first man on the ball, on the ball, you close him. And look at the game of Man City. It was dead. Dead. Completely dead. Neymar was there, you know. Neymar, Neymar for me, he's the third best player in the world currently. And Neymar for me, he's the correct player to take the baton from Lionel Messi. And apparently, Barcelona are looking for him. Apparently, Laporta has phoned him to say he shouldn't rush to renew the contract because Messi apparently has made a demand that if you really want me to stay, please make sure that Neymar comes. And then uh, Messi is even prepared to cut his salary by half so that they can be able to get uh, these players that he wants uh, them to join the team. And uh, for me, Neymar is, is the only player who can, uh, who can uh, you know, uh, take in the betting from Messi, just like Messi took the betting from Ronaldinho. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not undermining Ansu Fati. I think Ansu still has a long way to go. He still has to learn a lot. So that is why, for me, Neymar for now. All right. Yeah, uh, I was just wrapping up what I see, but give us other results of the Champions League, and then so that we move on to the Europa League quickly. And then no, it's like that. Goes. No, it's like that, that Mr. Shabalala. Um, um, uh, Man City versus PSG. Manchester City won that game by two goals to one, you know. Um, they've got two away goals. PSG lost that game. But PSG had a good game in the first half. I think they, they should have killed the game off in the first half, honestly. Because Man City in the second half came back a different team. That was a total different team. We don't know what Pep said to them, but they came back so... I could say so hungry, so vicious. Kevin De Bruyne was actually excellent in the game. Like, well, Kevin, um, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne told us what uh, Pep said uh, during the, the break. He said, uh, 
No, no, why rushing? He said they were playing long balls in the first half. So he said, don't rush, be, be patient. Remember that's Pepe's football. From Barcelona, mm. from Bayern Munich, that's Pep's football. Short passes, uh, be patient, and then uh, build up from the back. And then he said, uh, he, he reminded us that this is how we play. So why are we playing the, 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 the game that is being played by, 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 by PSG? So, yeah, so in a nutshell, uh, that, that's what happened. And then yeah. give us the Europa. What, what's your take about Man United? So I think yes. <laughs> they are doing exceptionally well. And then uh, they have uh, revived. Ogen uh, Solskjaer is, is one of the, 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 the good coach. And remember, a lot of people were doubting uh, Solskjaer. And now, you know what I like what Solskjaer did? He said, I'm not going to consult with Sir Alex Ferguson. It's not that he's not, uh, I don't respect him, but I'm not going to do it. That was a bold move because I think a lot of people wanted him to do that. But uh, today, who was going to be praised? It was going to be Sir Alex Ferguson. So, and we see that the old guys, the ideas are, are finished now. Look at Mourinho. You know, football has, 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 you know, has bypassed him, you know. And then uh, I'm not surprised why Del Bosque, one of the best coaches, I don't know. I think he has retired now because he's aware, you know, the new guys are coming up with new ideas. So, yeah. So, Mourinho, you know, I like uh, what Pep is saying. I think Pep, after this, if he can win the Champions League, he's going to leave. He said he wants to coach uh, the La Masia at, at Barcelona K. Um, so, I think that's what you should do. You should know when to leave. Don't hang on until we we chase you away. Just like what Alex Ferguson did. He left at the right time while he was still high. All right? So I think some of these uh, coaches, they need to start uh, doing that. Remember there was a young coach, 27-year-old, uh, who was coaching in England. So he tells you where things are going. Although, when you take a 27-year-old, he's coaching guys who are 33 and 34. I wonder what's happening there in terms of respect. But they are professionals, they understand. Yeah, so Man United did extremely well, so winning 6-2 for the Europa uh, League. What to say about uh, Arsenal? Arsenal, they need to start again. Arsenal have problems. The fans, they want the owners to go. Uh, they want the owners to sell the team. It's a whole lot of problems at Arsenal. Um, and the owners don't want to let go. I don't know what's going to happen. So those issues, they come to the fore. They, 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 they interfere with what is it. Arsenal, I know, I, I did not understand. How can they bring Chambers? Chambers, for that matter, you know. Mm -hmm. Abe Mayo, I can tell you, that guy is finished. I can tell you now. I understand why Barcelona didn't really want to buy him. Remember, he was desperate to go and play with Messi. But Barcelona were not uh, looking at him. He's finished, I can tell you now. Um, I, I don't see him coming up. You know, he's not Zlatan. Zlatan will be only Zlatan. Eh? And then he's not <laughs> Ronaldo. He's not Ronaldo at this stage. He's still effective. So uh, he's not those two players, you know. So we don't know. I don't know. What's your take? What's, what are your comments? Before I give you the news of Spanish, do you want to give me the Italian news? And the league. We need to do the leagues because um, I think we have... Um, I want us to finish uh, quickly. Let's look at the leak and see what's happening. Oh, okay. Um, do, you want, do you want to add some news? No, 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 no. Um, I'm, 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 all I can say is I'm just happy, you know, Manchester United, you know. Um, I know that they're going through to the final, so it's up to them. They just need to take this trophy and just win a trophy. Out of this good season that they've had this season, you know, they've had a good season. They just need a trophy in the cabinet. That's all they can actually thank themselves for, for all the hard work that they've pulled in. But in well, a nutshell, um, there are fixtures coming up this coming weekend in the Premier League. We've got Crystal Palace versus Man City. We've got Brighton versus Leeds United. We've got Chelsea versus Fulham. There's Everton versus Aston Villa. Newcastle versus Arsenal uh, on Sunday. 
And then that's a big one again. It's a Super Sunday on Sunday. We've got Man United versus Liverpool. This is a big game. Manchester United are playing home at Old Trafford. And then we've got Tottenham Hotspurs versus Sheffield. And then we've got West Ham versus Wolves. So, yeah, these are the fixtures coming through uh, during the course of, the, uh, of, of this weekend. Do you want us to look at top four? You've got it or should I give it to you? You've got it? No, you, you can give me. It's fine. Okay. The top four, Man City on top of the lock. Uh, after 33 games, 77 points. Remember, Man City, they need one game to win. Mm. And United lose. If United win, Man City needs only two games to win. Games. And the game is wrapped up. And then, um, I mean, the league is wrapped up. Then Man City, 33 games, 77 points. And then Man United, 33 games, 67 points. Leicester City, 33 uh, games, 62 points. And then Chelsea, uh, 33 games, uh, 58 points. West Ham, number five, still knocking at the door. 33 games, 55. And then let's see, where is Liverpool? Liverpool at number six. And then uh, 33 games, 54. Don't rule out Tottenham or Spurs. They are not far, eh? 33 games, 53. What about Everton? Everton, too. 32 games, 52. If they can play that game, uh, game in hand, they may be at 55. So, top four, very challenging. Top mm. four is very challenging. Leicester, I think they need two wins or so, and then uh, they'll be home and dry. In the in the in the in the Champions League spot, so that's the 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 the, the situation in, uh, in 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 England. Now let's look at the stats. Harry Kane is leading; he's a top goal scorer with 21 goals, and then uh, Mohamed Salah 20 goals, Bruno Fernandes 20, uh, 16 goals, Son you have uh, 15 goals at number four, Dominic uh, Calvert Lewis at number five, 14 goals, Patrick Bamford Leeds United. Uh, 14 goals and then assist Harry Kane. Harry Kane, 13 assists. He has increased. Remember, he was at 10. And then mm. Bruno Fernandes, num- uh, 11 assists. Kevin De Bruyne, 11 assists. Jack Grealish, 10. Song, uh, 9 assists. So that's the situation in um, uh, what you call uh, English Premier League. Now let's go to Serie A and see what's happening there. It's very tough even there. And then we know that Inter is on top of the lock. Uh, do you want to give us the fixtures or go them? Yes, I can give you the fixtures. Then I'll give you the top four. Okay, yeah. so um, Serie A fixtures, we've got uh, Verona is playing against Spazia. And then we've got um, Croton versus Inter Milan. And then we've got uh, AC Milan versus uh, Benavento. We've got Lazio versus Genoa. Napoli versus Caglia. We've got Sassiolo versus Atlant- uh, uh, Atalanta. Uh, we've got Bologna versus Florentina. Uh, Udinese versus Juve. Juventus needs to come back. Needs to come back. Juve needs to come back. And then after that, we've got um, Sampdoria, Sampdoria versus Roma. So these are the fixtures coming through in in Serie A this coming weekend. The rumors are saying Ronaldo has already said if they don't qualify for the Champions League, he's definitely leaving. He's definitely leaving. Uh, he's going to another team. He wants to play the Champions League. Let's look at the stats. Cristiano Ronaldo is leading with 26 goals. And then followed by Roman Lukaku, 21 goals. Uh, Louis uh, Fernando, Fena- 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 19 goals. And then Simeone, Tochuku, and then uh, 19 goals. Sierra Immobile, 18 goals. Assist, uh, Johan uh, Quadrado, 10 assists. Alvaro Morata, 9 assists. Roman Lukaku, 9 assists. Uh, Raslin Milovesky, uh, 9 assists. And then uh, Sergej. Milokovic and nine assists. So uh, it's, it's, it's getting tougher and tougher. Now, let's move to La Liga. Do you want to give us the fixtures before we give you the news in La Liga? Okay. Um, 
La Liga fixtures coming this weekend. Uh, I just have them here. While you are still there, while you are still looking them, okay. how about the fact that uh, Barcelona lost? They lost <laughs> against uh, uh, Granada. I don't know what was Kuman thinking. How do you play Mutiti, a guy who has not been playing for a very long time? Apart from that, when he, when he was bad, he had caused the team two games in succession by being slow. Uh, and you play him the first goal again. Um, Titi turned very slow and then they left him for dead. That was, uh, you know what, that was stupid for Kume. You know, I thought, I don't know why he didn't play Arojo. Arojo is, 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 is fresh, is, is fit. He should have played Arojo, not even Lengle, because, uh, you know, Granada, they have um, uh, Soldato, who's very quick, Luis Suarez, who's very quick. You know, they have a very quick players. Now, why, you know, when, when you have a team that has four speedy players, and then you play people like uh, Mtiti, uh, people like uh, uh, Lengle. I know Lengle was not playing, but those are those guys are very slow. And if you also have PK. PK is a very good player, but he's very slow, you know. But PK is a quality player, all right. He's a very quality player. But uh, for me, he could have uh, uh, put Arojo. Arojo is big. He's fast, you know. I mean, he has all the elements. He has not been playing for many games, all right? I mean, if I have to choose between Arojo and Umtiti, I could have gone uh, for Arojo. And we hear the news that Laporta is absolutely not happy. Remember, we know that Laporta has never been in favor of uh, Kumen. And uh, we hear that he has already phoned Xavi to say he should not renew the contract uh, wherever he is because uh, there is a chance that if they lose the La Liga, they will definitely have, uh, they will have him as a coach. Uh, that, that's, mm -hmm. that's what I can take as far as uh, La Liga. But they uh, can give us other scores. Yes, yes. The result, um, the fixtures coming through today. Mm -hmm. On Saturday, we've got Iba versus Alves. We've got Alche versus Atletico Madrid. There is Uesca versus Real Sociedad. Real Madrid is playing against Osasuna. And then on Sunday, it's uh, Vela Torrell versus, um, Torre versus Real Betis. We've got Villarreal versus Catafe. And then we've got Granada versus Cadiz. And then we've got Valencia versus Barcelona. This is a big game also. This is a very big game. Yeah. This is a very, yeah. very big yeah. game. It's a very, yeah. very big game. Yeah. Um, both of these teams, yeah, they, they, they've got a lot to prove. Mm. And then lastly, we've got Sevilla versus Atletico Madrid. So it's also a big game. It's a very, very big game because if we could look at the table, your Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Barcelona and Sevilla, both fighting for the league. Personally, any, any four teams can win the league. So, mm. It's really Atletico Madrid's league to lose. If they would lose against Sevilla, this is a big, this is a big game. Mm. And if Barcelona and Real Madrid lose, we could see Sevilla going up to the top. So it's mm. a very, very tight one. It's very, very, mm. very interesting fixtures coming through this mm. weekend in the La Liga. So, yeah, funny thing is, um, these leagues are becoming interesting as as the games are about to end. Mm. They've got five, four, five games left, but. Things are very tight, you know. You can't yeah. really decide on who's going to win the league yet. This is what's yeah. needed, actually. This is very interesting, you know. It'll be interesting to find out that who's going to take the league within the last game or last two games of the season. Yeah. I, I personally feel like that will make things interesting. It looks like it will go up to the wire, to the last wire. Yeah. The last game will determine. Now, let me give you the stats. Lionel Messi, as usual, is number one, 26 goals followed by Karen Benzema, 21 goals. Gerald Moreno, 20 goals. Luis Suarez, uh, 19. Uh, Yasef Ensri, Nensri, at 17. Now, <laughs> assist. Very surprising this time. We don't see Messi leading with assist. Number one is Igor Aspas, 10 assists. And then Marco Llorente, 10 assists. Uh, 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 Denis Suarez, 9 assists. Lionel Messi, 9 assists. Angela Correa, 8 assists. Tony Cruz, eight assists. You know what um, surprises me as far as this assist are concerned? 
is an issue of I don't see uh, Modric, you know, mm. in, in, in that list. All right. Now let's move on quickly. The news, uh, Barca news. Um, Laporta is it is said that he has already called um, Victor Valdez to come to be the coach of the goalkeepers. All the goalkeepers at La Masia, he should start grooming them. Now, Laporta, he knows exactly what he wants. Remember, Valdez was there when he fought Patrick Clive, but he was coaching the squad. Now, he gave him a specific task that you coach the La Masia goalkeepers, prepare them for the senior team. You know, this guy knows what he wants. On top of that, he has already renewed the contract of Oscar Mengueza. This is the leader with purpose. Over and above, we, we hear that he has already secured a sponsorship of 500 million euros. And then we hear the news that he has already indicated to Neymar that Neymar should not rush to renew the contract with PSG. And then uh, that is why I think Kumen won't last. Remember Kumen, as much as he's making blunders in terms of his coaching tactics, uh, the way he view things differs with Laporta. Laporta wants Neymar as much as Messi wants Neymar. He just tell us about Memphis Depay. You know what? I'm sorry. That guy is a cow. Memphis Depay, you cannot pay, take Memphis Depay and put it at the same level with Neymar. I don't care whether he's a free uh, player to get. And then even if I am to compare him with Aguero, I'll still go for Aguero ahead of him. So mm. there's a problem. Uh, Kumen, I think things will never end up well for him. Um, and then uh, the only way for Kumen to save his skin is to continue to win and, and stop doing these blunders. And what I've noticed with Kumen, once Kumen loses, he, you know, he blames the referees. He doesn't take any blame. Just want to blame the referees, blah, blah, and so on. And while we are still there, let me also get give you the news that uh, Messi already apparently, this is the rumor, has been offered a 10-year contract. He's going to play three years in Barcelona and then he's going to go to MLS as an ambassador for, for Barcelona. And then after that, he's going to come back, I think after three years or so, and then to come back and finish at... Um, at Barcelona, but this time he will be the executive in Barcelona. So I don't know. Laporta knows what he wants, and 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 Laporta seems to be composed. I think this is the leader as Barcelona we really wanted. We didn't want, you know, Laporta is not like Batamel. Batamel, we're not sure who's coming, who's going. He was doing his own things alone, you know. Look at the way uh, Griezmann came, you know. And Griezmann too, while I'm still there, Neymar could have scored two or three goals. Griezmann is still showing that sign of being selfish. There were areas where he should have given Messi Messi score. And then he would, I don't know, do whatever that he was thinking. And then I still believe that Griezmann has never admitted that Messi is the, the player in Barcelona. The sooner he does that, then the better for him, then they will keep him. Because if he continues doing it this way, you know, he's closing the door for himself. He'll be sold. Eh? I'm afraid. I'm afraid he'll be sold. And then uh, we are told that uh, uh, Osman Tebele is, is playing tricks. He, he's saying uh, before he renews his contract, he wants to see, because he's worried that if Neymar comes, uh, maybe he might not play. You see, if I was in uh, Osman Tembele's shoes, having not lived to expectation during my first, first era at Barcelona, I would renew a contract and prove a point that that is why they bought me. All right? So for him to... Because wherever he's going to go, he's still going to struggle, I can tell you. Because he still has to adjust. All right? Although, if there's any team that way probably fit well. It may be Liverpool because of the relationship that he has with, uh, what's his name? With, uh, with, Klopp. With, with Klopp. But again with Liverpool, I don't know what's going to happen. It looks like um, 
Serumane might leave. We know that uh, Mo Salah is not, you know, he's not uh, happy. He's not sure whether he wants to go to Madrid or Barcelona. Uh, he definitely wants to go, but those teams are not showing any interest of having him. Uh, last one, I think that's far we can go with the show for tonight. It was a very nice show. And then uh, we try by all means to make it short because when it's too long, uh, sometimes it's absolutely not good. Last one, uh, your last words before I close. What do you want to say? No, um, all I can say is uh, I, I just want to say one thing, you know, um, congratulations again to Orlando Pirates, Kaiser Chiefs and Mamelodi Sundowns for flying the flag high, for flying the South African flag high. We hope that they can just go all the way. This is, this is what we hope for and wish for, that they can go all the way. At the end of the day, we're all supporting them, despite whatever team that you're supporting, but these are the three teams that we need to support, you know, all the way, because they're representing our nation in Africa, you know, in the continent. So, yeah. Congratulations to them, big ups to them. And also, lastly, <laughs> congratulations to Amazulu. You know, Amazulu, yeah, they, 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 they're really there at the top, you know. I hope that they don't lose this even in the coming seasons, to, in the, the next coming seasons, you know. They should just keep it up and just also raise the flag high. Raise the South African flag high, you know. They're doing a very good job and, yeah. The, the chairman, the president is doing a very, very, very stellar job in keeping the team intact. And coach Benny McCarthy also is doing a very good job. So congratulations to them. They've come so far and they definitely are going to remain in the position where they are or win the league, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a nice finish at the end of the day. And, yeah, man, um, good luck to Kyle. Uh, good luck between all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me say, uh, it, it, you know, that I like Pizzo, uh, I like Pizzo, I think the guy is very honest. But if you ask me now, I'm looking for Mamluri Sundowns, I'm looking for South African teams to win. Mm -hmm. Yes, Pizzo is, 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 is the son of the soil, he's one of our own, but I want Chiefs, Pirates, and Sundowns to win. That That's me, that's me. That's all I, I want. Um, let's see what's happening here. Uh, remember, um, we still okay. I wanted to do our Messi special tonight. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 let's see. Let's see. Uh, come on. We cannot minimize. Okay. Um, all right. Um, I wanted to do our Messi special, but it doesn't allow me to do that. All right. Okay. Okay. Let me do this. There Double you down. are. Right, Messi steps up. Oh, <laughs> he drives it low off the inside of the near post. It's now four goals in two games from Lionel Messi, Barcelona 3-0 up, three minutes before the break. Crisis, what crisis? I have to say, while you and I were waiting for it, I thought Lalo Sheffield uh, The Messi special with today, um, I just want to share with you, uh, the Messi's love life. I don't know whether you can see this. Yes, yes I can see it. You can see it. Unfortunately, yes, yes. I, can, I cannot see it on my side. I don't know what's happening. Uh, no, I can't, I can't see it. No, that's fine. In other words, if you see it, the viewers will be able to see it. Uh, Messi's love life. You know, they started very young, Messi and, and his wife. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know what? This is a true love. This is a true love. And then uh, this is one thing that uh, I think, if you see Messi all the time, he's always with the family. He's always with the children. Uh, you know, sponsors, they like that. They like stability. So that is why the man he is so much loved by the world because uh, he represents uh, purity and stability. And uh, you know, in terms of earning, Messi is earning three times more than Ronaldo. Do you know that? 
I'll show you yes, what yes. is any yeah, other. Yes. Yeah. So that's uh, our message special today. And then uh, also, let me see. Uh, the, okay. Um, all right. I can see it doesn't want to allow me to show you something. I wanted to show you something, but it's not here. But nevertheless, but thank you for 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 being with us. And then uh, please continue to subscribe and like and comment. Last one, thank you and good day. Thank you very much.